how does Gary Monk deal with emotions then? Because he, you know, I've seen a range of interviews as you have, you know, over the years, it's various different clubs. And he's got a very sort of steady style. A lot of fans as well accusing him of not taking responsibility, but he has done that recently. He did say for the first time in a while, it is my responsibility to get this side playing. But how does he deal with those emotions? Yeah, I think Monk's approach when it comes to emotions, he's very conscious of emotions, but doesn't show them. And I think he's I think he sees emotions as a sign of weakness. And if you you know, emotions are unpredictable, emotions are, you know, he's got a very a very solid blueprint of the way he wants things done. And, and, and if people start getting emotional, it adds an element of unpredictability into what it is you're trying to do. He doesn't trust emotions and he doesn't think emotions should have any place in in you know, the way a team sets up. He's not the sort of person necessarily to go heavy on the motivational side. It's always the calm and relaxing. You know what you should be doing. If you stick to your jobs, everything's going to be fine. You know, we, you, you're good enough, you, you know, and, and things like that. And I think emotions are something he takes away and deals with very privately. So that was like, you know, to be prodding away at Monk three or four times in three or four different directions, then to try to get him, pin him on emotions, and then asking him to put your emotions into words, that for that was quite offensive to Monk because it's like, you know, he, what he literally said himself, you know, that's, it's like you, you're going into my private life there in asking about my emotions and to put them into words. The last thing Gary Monk ever wants to do is put emotions into words. It's like, let's put emotions to one side and let's deal with the job in hand. So it was very uncomfortable ground for Monk and that was clearly evident in the way he responded. Yeah, because we have managers um, such as Paul Warren, obviously in the same division, who are very happy to talk about emotions and, and are very much in touch with that side, particularly with their squad. So you talked earlier about Gary Monk happy to bomb out players who he, he senses aren't buying in. How does he deal with players or how do you think he would deal with players who maybe are... Uh, Becoming emotional is probably the wrong phrase, but showing signs of, of maybe breaking or struggling under the pressure or, you know, de- struggling to deal with matters off the field. I, I would imagine it's constant reassurance. It's just reassurance and believing in the game plan and believing. He, he, he always talks about the work, the work we do on the training ground. You know, I believe in my work. My work has shown, you know, what that he gets results and, and, it's basically trust in the work and constant reassurances. If you keep doing the work, if you just keep turning up and applying yourself, you're all good enough. Everything will be absolutely fine. It will turn. Just stay level-headed. Don't get emotional. And, you know, that things will work out in the end. And I think that's very much his attitude towards it. 